Hello and welcome to Demo Play Thursday. We're on the Switch with, and I think it's called Guayota, but not entirely sure. You can see it clearly says it's a demo, but that is not a link to get it from the eShop. Ooh, that's bright. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know too much about this. I know that on the eShop, the screenshots looked really interesting. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to try it. But as to why it's the Canary Islands, I'm not too sure. Perhaps that's where the game was developed. Ah, well that explains it, okay. It's based on a folklore from Tenerife. Well, that'll be interesting to see um, like how creative they get with it or if they're going to stick really to it. Like are all the artwork and the characters going to look so historical and old looking. It is the year 1506 of the Common Era. The Crown has asked for your help in a secret mission. You will join an expedition searching St. Brendan's Island, which, according to legends, is paradise on Earth. Your role in such a wondrous adventure will be to record each discovery that is made on that island. It is said that this island lies somewhere near the Canary Islands. So you depart on a ship to the island of Tenerife to gather more information. After your arrival, you talk to the natives of the island, who tell stories about a mysterious island located to the west. They say that it is surrounded by a thick fog that prevents anyone from reaching its shores. It is said that the secret to getting there is not to wish for it. Those who claim to have reached the island were either sailing aimlessly or the tides swept the ship away while they slept. Having gathered this information, you depart westward on a caravel in search of the legendary island. After a few hours at sea, you gaze upon the thick fog, and you venture through it. You fold the sails, and wait until dusk. When the night arrives, you and your partners go to sleep, hoping that the trick works. You fall into a deep sleep. Well, that's certainly a nice story. It's a weird sound. The art directions were a little weird. Because we just have like a shadow for a face. And why are there two small boats when we were on a caravel, a much bigger boat? You can see we're not leaving any footprints in the sand. So it almost feels like the story has progressed a little bit. And we, the player, we picked it up after that. I don't know, it feels like we're missing a little bit of the story. Probably this being a demo, you never know what we're going to get. I thought we're the Quanica. I have no idea what that position that Rodrigo does. Mm. 
So, were we knocked unconscious? Were we just asleep? Were they impatient? Why did they go up ahead and leave us behind? Okay, shadows could be a little bit for pain. Any news? He just told us all the news. That seems a strange thing to ask. to be drawing so why aren't we drawing this That's something different and interesting we may not chronicle what we find we found this but we're not drawing it it's a little weird what we're meant to be doing and what we're actually doing why is it now snowing that assumes that we've climbed up a lot of the mountain then don't get me wrong the visuals are, well, neat. They're good. It looks great, but it's difficult to know if we're missing bits because it's a demo, because it's the start of the game, or if that's just how it is. Now, screenshots like this I remember seeing on the eShop. And this is kind of why I was interested in the game. I wonder if they're using traditional instruments from Tenerife or traditional sounds and stuff. The loading's not long, but I don't really know what we're meant to be doing here. I thought we were taking pictures, drawing. Like it's a dungeon game. But the twist was we're the photographer or something. Oh yeah, I'm just guessing that this needs light, because the door opened when we were near it, and the door closed when we weren't near it, so I'm guessing we need to do light puzzles. But like I said, I thought we were going to be chronicling this sort of stuff, but we're not. I don't know if I can throw. But that seems to work. Not really seen anything that would look like people watching. <laughs> oh, we're taking notes, but we're not even watching it. We're it really cool. You can see like a hand going across the page or something. Well, I guess the note taking then is not critical for us for gameplay. You can flash on the screen all you like. If you're not going to tell me what button lets me look at it. It says th 
three of them. So I'm guessing that needs two, and that needs four. So it's a puzzle game essentially then. What? It's clearly being lit up. Where's two? I think I would have liked a little bit more sound that the bridge had assembled. There's a pot right there. seem awfully short this first couple of puzzles see we've still got a few more to go now what's going to go this one doesn't seem like there's anything in here I can interact with nor is there really any help guessing this means you need purple and yellow then why don't you have purple yellow here as well I don't know if they're successfully marrying the gameplay with the story they want us to or they want to tell Where's the crystal? If they want to introduce a new mechanic with no crystal, there are better ways to do it. But that needs just one. Okay. That door open. Okay, we need to move that closer to here. So when the door opens, it should light both. Stay open. There we go. See, I don't know if that's there because there's a gameplay mechanic or if it's Something we're actually meant to avoid. You are completely in the dark. You are lost. You advance through the corridors of a room, surrounded by nothing but darkness. You hear whispers and other sounds at a distance. It seems that you will never find the exit. You have lost track of how much time you've been wandering in the dark. Huh. It didn't read the full subtitles, did it? So is this something we've drawn? Or is it something... Wait, is that minus? Ah, okay, so minus brings up this stuff. I mean, they could have done better to highlight the minus because the note is glistening white. The minus is glistening white close to it. It's not 
the most legible thing being down on the bottom corner, not where you're looking. See, I would have preferred if that was done a little better. So, do we need to go there? Doesn't seem any way for us to get there. It's a cool effect. Yeah, it looks good, but it's a shame they couldn't think of a better in-game way. So yeah, there's a wall. Why hasn't my character reacted to it? I get a vibration on controller, but I'm guessing I'm wanting a little bit more from the character than the one I'm getting. There's no visible cooldown for this. Why did that not work when I went through there? Why are some walls breakable, some walls not? How did you come to that conclusion that that's water? How did you come to the conclusion that that's traps? No, talking to yourself of, oh, I've seen these before. I recognize this. Oh, this was on this. A trap. I thought that was a gas. I didn't. That didn't look like water at all. Why has he come up here when he said he was too old to come up here? No, he said he was going to do the other temples, now he said he's going to the camp. The storytelling is, um, that needs a little work. Which is unfortunate because the game is out. Hmm. There are some traps. Well, what triggered it? Ah, oh, they want us to dash. Okay. that the pressure pad is so sensitive. 
We're not really given a chance. Something. Where does this go? So I can't see where the other one is. I don't know where we want to put this. Like, just here. So we're not invulnerable either. We can dash, but we're going to take damage. It looks like we need one more. feeling I need to go back and get the first one. And we only need one for that. And we got two currently open. Guess I should be thankful that we don't having these advantages from carrying it. We're not slower, we can still dash. But it's weird how the thing above my head, I never noticed it. So it wasn't until the Nicholas t said something that I noticed we had it above our heads. It's so small and our character doesn't comment about it. So I'm kind of surprised that we knew. Huh. Are they monks? They look like builders, laborers. If you're going to make definitive statements like that, I would appreciate if the art was a little bit more definitive. Well, it's the last one. Ah, okay, that's it. Um, is that a trailer? Other screenshots. No, that's a shame. Some of the better demos, when you get to the end, will have a trailer, some screenshots, or even artwork. And they said, "Wish list the game." And here, there's no eShop link. So there's a so missed opportunities in terms of a demo. But in terms of the game we played, again it's um missing a certain something. Maybe there's a mistranslation from what I would guess Spanish to English. Maybe they have cut things out for the demo. Which could be why we are asleep going into the storm, the fog. And then we wake up on the beach and everyone's doing their job already. Maybe there's something in the middle that we're missing. And our job is to draw stuff. But that's not an action we ourselves can do. We're not drawing everything. We're only drawing the specific arts. We don't get to see it either. So like we're our character class is a class that we can't watch in action. <laughs> so 
you don't feel as connected with the character. Yeah, Goyota, it's looks good, sounds good. But the way they describe your job and what you actually end up doing, it's more of a puzzle game. You yourself are not an artist going into dungeons and stuff, making notes. So, and that Nicholas character, he's going to unlock other temples, but also going back to the base. But he went, to, he didn't come up with us because he was tired, and yet he came up. You want to see what I'm saying? It's like they got the story, they got the gameplay. They haven't been able to marry them together as well as they would hope. That's um. It feels like the focus was on gameplay rather than story. So they got the gameplay to work fine. Nothing with the gameplay. Controls are fine. It's quite self explanatory. But the story hasn't quite worked with it. This is out now, so if you've got it, it'll be interesting to know what differences there are between this demo and the real thing. I would hope that. It's a little better. Or oh, I this is just demo play. I can only speak about the demo. And if I'm playing the demo, I'm not that keen on getting the game. I would still recommend trying the demo. It's a good puzzle and I feel like it would be suitable for quite a few experience and age groups, but in terms of story, um I feel like the demo was too short. It's it didn't give me enough of the story for me to be interested in seeing where it goes. The puzzles are not interesting to me. Graphics are, music is, yes, but the puzzles themselves aren't that interesting. So you kind of wanted the story to be that thing that hooks you, and it feels like they've kind of kept us away from it. And now I play the demo. I'm done, and I'm happy I'm done. I feel like I gave it a good shot. So until the next Demo Play Thursday video, or until I see you checking out some of the other videos, playlists, or YouTube shorts, or maybe I'll see you over at Kofi. As a small YouTube channel, we could know money from YouTube, but at Kofi, we can get donations, including PayPal. We also have some subscription tiers as well. So maybe one of them would interest you. But wherever, Whenever I see you again, please take care.